Jeff asked me to, and Stacy asked me to give a little bit about their story here. Um, it is amazing we are here celebrating Jeff and Stacy's story together. As Jeff played so many video games, he never left his room much. <laughs> At some point, sophomore year, he started talking about the shy girl downstairs. These two started hanging out more and more, be it apple picking, bonfires by the lake, or particular Wednesday night activities in Tito's room. <laughs> They grew closer together. She was always looking out for Jeff and caring for him when he was sick. <laughs> Jeff was also always there, willing to do anything for Stacy. These two were clearly developing some strong feelings for each other, but were clueless about it. With the help of some threats and violence against Jeff by several of Jeff's friends, he asked her out, and the rest is history. The hourglass ceremony. Uh, Jeff and Stacy. Today you are here to join both of your lives together with these two separate vases of sand, symbolizing your separate lives before you found each other. They symbolize your separate friends, family, and choices. Today, both of you will seal your bond by blending these two individual vases together. Once the sand is blended together, it cannot be separated. Just as you cannot be separated, your friends and family are here today to witness your love never separated. By blending these sands together, we are recognizing the importance of blending two families together. May you always honor and protect your family. Thank <laughs> you. 
Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Stage left or good? We're good. Now let's see who finishes sooner the wedding or that. Sooner the wedding. Sooner the wedding. Sooner the wedding. Sooner the wedding. Bride and groom have chosen as a couple to perform a love letter and wine box ceremony. Here's how it works. Bride and groom have written love letters to each other. In these letters, they have detailed why they fell in love with and what they truly admire about each other person. These letters were sealed before they could each read what each other wrote. These letters will be placed in a box with a good bottle of wine. They will nail the box closed, which for safety and security will happen later. The idea <laughs> that is if they ever find that their marriage has a rough spot, they will bring it out the box and will open it. Share the wine. If it's equal, is to if it's equal, it's up to them. And read the letter, reminding them that love that brought them together and the promises they made to each other today. It is then their hope and belief that they will not need the box except in celebration of an anniversary. They hope to hold out until their 10th anniversary, September 15th, 2028. But if they need it, it's there. This may not seem like the most romantic thing to do on a wedding day, to think about the days when things will be hard, but it is important to Jeff and Stacy that their ceremony and promises to each other be realistic. They know marriage is hard. They know it is a lot of work. They mean every word they have said here today, and they do not take lightly the words as long as as we both, as, as long as they both shall live. So, you may now seal the box. Oh, Now, Chris. <laughs> I'll take care of that. Oh, hi, Joey! <laughs> Don't even tell me they're in a dust star. These hands are too sweaty. Uh, yes. Jeff, as you place the ring on Stacy's finger, please repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my abiding love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my abiding love. My eternal faith and undying devotion. My eternal faith and undying devotion. It is an outward reminder of our... It is an outward reminder of our... Jeez, uh, I can't read your writing. <laughs> Jeff wrote it. It was great. <laughs> Unity. <laughs> Not what it says. <laughs> Four hours sleep. Um, Stacy, as you place the ring on Jeff's finger, after me. <laughs> I live. I give you this ring as a symbol of my abiding love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my abiding love. My eternal intent. 
faith and undying devotion. My eternal faith and undying devotion. It is an outward reminder of our unity. It is an outward <laughs> reminder of our unity. Take Jeff to be your husband, to cherish in friendship and love today, tomorrow, and for all, as long as you both live. To trust and honor her, him, to love him faithfully through the best and the worst, whatever may come. And if you should ever doubt to remember your love for each other and the reason why you have came together on this day. Jeff, to you, <laughs> take Stacy to be your wife and cherish in friendship and love today, tomorrow, and for as long as you live. To trust and to honor her, to love her faithfully through the best and the worst, and ever, whatever may come. And if you should ever doubt that you find her your love to each other and the reasons why you have came together on this day. You have heard the words about love and marriage, have exchanged your vows and made your promises and celebrated your union. With this given and receiving of ring, it is at this time I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.